Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Learn with Sahira. In this video, I am going to give you the complete and clear explanation of unit number 1 from the subject C and C++ which is for degree first year second semester BCom computer students. By watching this video, you will be perfect with unit number 1 from C and C++ subject and whatever the question they might ask you in the examination from unit number one, you will be able to write the answer and easily you can score full marks from that unit, okay? So watch the video till end and if you are new to our channel, learn with Sahira, subscribe it for more videos and don't forget to share this video with your friends too. If you want the notes of C and C++, let me know on my Instagram, drop me a message there. I will be giving you easy, simple and clear to understand notes. But note payment is must. Keeping this aside, let us get started with unit number one, complete and clear explanation. First important question what I gave you in unit number one is what are the various types of operators used in C programming? I think you all are aware of operators. Already in semester one, you have written and you have read operators, right? So that operators are only given in this C programming also. You just need to understand them in the better way so that if they ask you in the examination, you should be able to write. Let us see, you are having six types of operators in C programming. Ma. One is arithmetic operators which are used for mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, division, multiplication and all that. Relational operators. Relational operators are nothing but which are used to compare two values like greater than, less than, equal to. Yes or no? When we are comparing both the values or both the things, we will be using relational operators, right? It is greater than that. It is less than that, like that. Then we have logical operators. It means it is used to multiple conditions like this and that this or that not this that like that logical operators are used to combine multiple conditions so conditional operators are also be said as logical operators okay assignment operators are nothing but when we assign values to the variables that is nothing but assignment operators the uh, most important and the basic one is equals to Whenever we are using equals to, it is also known as assignment operator, okay? And it is under relational operator also. Assignment is nothing but if there is a value A, if there is a variable A, when we are assigning 10 to that variable A, then that is nothing but assignment operators. By using assignment operators only, we will be assigning a numerical value or value to the variable increment or decrement operators like it can be increase or decrease a value by one bitwise operators are nothing but the operations which are done at a binary level by using bitwise operators okay first let us see about arithmetic then we will be going line wise okay arithmetic i think you all know okay whenever they ask you this question you have to be able to write the answer because you all know already mathematical operations like addition it adds the values like a plus b already we have assigned the values here a is 10 and b is 5 when we add both of them it is 15 minus means nothing but subtraction it subtracts the values like 10 minus 5 equals to 5 it is multiplication the star which you see you don't have x okay in uh, the programming or in the coding you don't have x you have star so it is nothing but multiplication when we multiply 10 into 5 it is 50 uh, this slash which you are seeing this is nothing but dividing divides it is the division a division by b is nothing but 2 when we get the reminder when we want to see the reminder we will be using this symbol percentile okay so reminder definitely it will be zero okay when you want to do the calculations we use arithmetic operators okay so these are whatever you have learned the calculations in your mathematics you can put it here okay then we have relational operators as we have discussed it compares to values okay uh, it will not give that uh, this is that and that is this they will just give you output as 0 1 or 0 1 0 means false 1 means true okay so this double equals to when you are keeping just not one 
one uh, one equals to you're not keeping if you keep two then it is equal to in programming like already we have assigned the values a double equals to b no both are different numbers so it is false it will not give false it will just give you zero you need to understand it is false then when you just give this exclamatory mark in english we will be saying exclamatory mark no so i have a habit of saying it as exclamatory mark only then we give equals to it is not equals to a is not equals to b yes both are different so it is true like it is greater a is greater than b yes a is greater than b because it is 10 and that is only 5 so 1 this is less than 0 false it here greater than or equals to like we are using or when we use or when we use or you see here it is when we combine multiple conditions yes so is it true here it is yeah so is it true yes less or equals to no so here we check conditions if or while loops okay then we have logical operators as we have seen and or not okay and or not and means when we use both the and that is nothing but and so here we you can see the example when we uh, when we are having one it is nothing but true so this is nothing but not yes it is true okay mostly used in if statements with multiple conditions okay assignment operators as i said as i said you equals to is the basic operator of assignment yes or no like we are assigning a equals to 10 okay when we add and assign like a plus equals to 10 plus 5 how much it will be 15 when we subtract when we subtract 3 from 15 it will be 12 when we multiply and assign when we multiply and assign it is 24 then we divide and assign it is 6 okay now let us go with increment and the decrement increment means nothing but 2 times plus will be there 2 times minus will be there when you have 2 times plus it is increment like a uh, 2 times plus a equals to a plus 1 okay decrement a equals to a minus 1 it is useful in the loops like for or while okay then we have last one bitwise operators bit level operations we will be doing like and already we have seen or already we have seen this is bitwise x or so this is something but no need to go with this you just uh, be perfect with the uh, bitwise operators uh, what do you call it definition or meaning no need to write the examples okay uh, till bitwise no need to go with only till 5 it is okay for bitwise you just go with the definition or meaning okay so first complete explanation we have seen now let us go with the second explain formatted input and output operations input and output operations in c what are they scanf and printf why we use scanf when we uh just uh, want to give the input we will be using scanf okay scanf parenthesis this the brackets which you are seeing here on the screen these are known as parenthesis okay so scanf is used to take input from the user that's what i said right when we want to give the input we will be using scanf it reads the input in a specific format based on the data type okay based on the data type whether we are giving variable whether we are gi giving the integer floating whatever we are giving according to it it will be taking the data and using the specific format okay so here the syntax is there scan of parenthesis double quotes format specifier like format specifiers we will be seeing now here so then we want to uh, give any variable or something like that we just need to give a comma and we need to and and the variable parenthesis close semicolon so this is the scan of syntax then the format specifiers are nothing but percentile d is used for integers when we are giving integer here we need to use percentile d when we are giving floating values floating values are nothing but decimal values when you have 2.09 like point if you have that is used for floating value or data it's uh it is known as floating values percentile c for characters like a b c d e f g uh then we have percentile s for strings okay you can just have a look at the example you will come to know int age 
ओके सी इंट एज हियर वी आर गिविंग इंटीजर नंबर ओके नंबर इज नथिंग बट वॉट द नंबर वी आर गिविंग इज एज सेमी कॉल एंड स्कैन एफ परसेंटाइल डी while we are using integers we have said that we will be using this format specifier percentile d so we are using percentile d and we are giving it age okay age is nothing but just the variable when we give this it will ask for the input from the user if we give 22 it will show us 22 if we give 25 it will show us age as 25 so whatever the in and age we give accordingly it will show us the output then we have output formatted output uh, printer which is used for uh, displaying the output okay printf we will be using like when we give the output we want the input right so when we want to see the output we use printf parenthesis okay syntax you can see in the same way but we have printf here then common format specifiers whatever we have seen up they are down also like the int age equals to 20 then age is percentile d age so this is nothing but uh, the example of using printf that is output the operator both use format specifiers to handle different types of data format input it uh, is used to take the input it is a format specifier use a uh, usage input then it have format specifiers are written into uh, in, inside double quotes very very important okay so these are all the things whatever we have learned in format uh, input and output okay so i hope you have got what are the formatted input and output nothing you have to do whatever i have given here like it takes the input it uses the format specifier and this for, uh, format specifier need to be written inside the double quotes okay like the variable name must have and before it but definitely like uh, you can see here and we are giving right oh, where is it here see and should be given definitely and uh, it reads uh, input inside the specified format okay format specified whatever we use percentile d here only you will be getting one mark now okay so make sure you write this format specifiers then output is nothing but whatever we have learned for our uh, scan up it is for uh, print up also but it is for, for uh, output okay so subscribe our channel learn with sahira if you are watching the video and uh, for the notes you can text me on my instagram then we have third important question that is explain about data types in c language already i think you all are aware of data types since i mr one you have already read if not no issues we will be reading it now so basic data types are int float character double int is for numbers like the examples are given here float is for decimal numbers as i said you characters is nothing but a five single character okay then we have double it is for bigger decimal when we have bigger decimal numbers double we will be using then derived data types are array array means the thing but group of some type of values any group ma whenever the values are in a group then that is known as array pointer it stores memory address okay wherever the memory is located that memory address it will be locating like where is our hall where is our bedroom we will be knowing right the address of it so in the same way memory address is stored uh, with the help of pointer structure is nothing but it groups different data types whenever you have all these integer float uh, character double all that it will be sorry grouping all the data types okay void void is nothing but no value i think you all know then uh, data types helps the c program know what kind of data to expect and how much memory to use okay so these are the different data types if you want to write the fully like in the theory part you can also write like there are different uh, data types in c language uh, which can store uh, like numbers characters or decimals so we will be discussing about them in brief first we have basic data types integer these are the data types which are used for whole numbers whenever we are expecting or whenever we want to give the whole number like example 10 or minus 5 we will be using int then we have float which are used for decimal numbers or point values like example 3.14 all that like that briefly you have to write okay this will be the answer only yeah answer rehta lekin what do you need to do you need to prolong the answer that's all in your own words adding few more words then we have basic structure of c program 
uh, basic structure is nothing but it is the standard way to write a program in C. Like a basic structure will be there, right? We need to mention or we need to maintain that structure. As I said you in English, I said you all to write the summary in a structure, right? First about the author, then about the story, then summary, then conclusion. There is a structure, right? I have given you the structure to write the summary. In the way to write a program in C, we have a basic structure. That is nothing but basic structure of C program. So what is the basic structure you need to uh, mention? Okay, theory also you have to write in the same way you need to show the structure of that C program. So let us start. First, we have header files. So these are the files that include predefined functions needed in the program. So example, this will be the must in C program uh, of C. Okay, include stdio.h above. Pahele starting me heading pe yehi likke rehta. Okay, lets you use input and output functions like printf and scanf. Okay. So, include stdio.h is very important. Without this, a C program cannot be started or cannot be written. And then we have main function. This is the main part where the program starts running. Okay. Every C program must have one main, at least one main function. Without main, there will be no C program. So, first it is header file. Then we have main function. Then we have variable declaration, whatever the variables we use or whatever the variables we use to keep the data or store the data, that variable declaration should be given after the main. Then we have statement or logic like the instructions or the commands or the code which is given by us. Then we have return statement. Okay, so either it may return one or either it may return zero. Okay, so these uh, this is the basic structure like first header files, then main function, variable declaration, statement logic and uh, written statement. If you just write from here to here, you will be getting <coughs> 5 marks easily. Okay, if you want 3 more marks, you need to write this example. That's all. Eight marks will be in your hands. No doubt in that. No need to write this, that. If you just purely mention from here to here, eight marks will be in your hands. Like first, as we have discussed, header file include stdio.h. Then we have seen main function, right? So main function in the main function, we will be showing uh, which data type we are using int. The per, a main function will be always with parenthesis. So int or float or anything like that you need to give. Then you need to give the main function. Then open curly braces. These are the curly braces or flower braces. They are called as. Then int variable. Variable uh, for variable we are assigning the value 10. Then semicolon. Print f means the output which we want is percentile d int is a uh, percentile d right percentile d is used for integers yes already we have seen format specifiers so we will be using this for int then comma a how much is the a a is 10 then written 0 this is very very important written statement must semicolon then close the flower braces so the format which you are seeing here you need to write in this way only don't write int here or print f here See, after the main only, it should be given. So, this is the basic structure of C programming. Okay. So, this was the complete and clear explanation of unit number one. Hope you liked it. If yes, let me know in the comment section. For unit number two, you should watch our channel playlist C and C++. Semester two, C and C++. You will be finding all the videos regarding C and C++ subjects. Okay. So stay tuned. All the very best. Bye-bye.